Hello, hello. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Studio MDAZ. I'm Debbie, and I'm so happy to be here. I've been gone for a few days with my mom, as most of you saw for her birthday. We, uh, we might have touched Palenka. We really might have. So we had such a blast. So let me say hi. Uh, I can see that Claudette is watching. Hi, Kay Myrick. Good morning. I haven't seen you in a few days. Happy to see you. Uh, hi, Diane. Good morning, everybody. Hi, Linda Davis. So you know we're in studio, and I didn't put up a notice to all of you in Check Savvy Sisters and Check Savvy Sisterhood like I normally do. Hi, Nora. Hi, Brenda. I'm sure you got notifications, but normally I'll go online and pop up, hey, watch me in 10 minutes or whatever, and I didn't have a chance to do that this morning. Hi, Mary. Hi, Sharon Halverson. Uh, so hopefully everybody got the word, or um, if somebody wouldn't mind going over to each of them, Check Savvy Sisters and Sisterhood, and just say, hey, Debbie's on studio right now. Hi, Debbie Stewart. Hi, Kim Whitmore. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kim, would you be willing to go over to uh, at least Sisterhood and let them know that I'm over here? Hi, Sandy. Hi, Carol. Um, good morning, everybody. Hi, Joanne. Cornwall, Ontario. What's happening over there? Anything good? Uh, hi, Tana. You guys, today we're going to do something that I haven't done in a while, but something that put me uh, kind of on the map when I first started. Hi, Debbie. Hi. Uh, there's like three Debbies right in a row. Hi, all the... Hi, all the Debbies. Hi, Marcella. Thank you for sprinkling, you guys. If you wouldn't mind, this would be a great one to sprinkle. This won't be a very long, um, I say this every time. It shouldn't be a very long one today, but I, I blow it every time. Hi, Terry. Hi, Cena. Uh, Beth Bristol is watching, you guys. Cindy Kofer, my friend is here. And Cindy will help with questions and comments if you guys have any, Rhonda, Patricia. Okay, we gotta get started, you guys. I usually give it just like a minute or two. Uh, Kim Whitmore's gone. Okay, if anybody is home, would you go over to, hi Shelly, go over to Sisterhood and let them know that I'm over here. Just do a post or uh, Sisters. Um, I would appreciate it so much. Hi Marlene. Uh, Cindy, you'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Debbie Caven. Snowing in Oklahoma. Oh my goodness. Probably snowing everywhere. Hi Tammy. Hi Vina. Uh, okay. I got to get started, you guys. You know I love to do this, but I'm alone today again. Uh, yes, okay, real quick, let's get it out of the way. My trip was fabulous. My mom, my daughter, and I went to California, and we went and saw, hi Greta, hi Sandy. We went and saw Paul Anka in the middle, and I have posted videos in the middle of the concert. He came into the audience, and at 81 years old, jumped straight from the ground onto the back of our seats. And we were in fifth row center. We were right in the center of everything. And there was an aisle right beside us and right behind us. So anyway, he jumps right on the chairs and starts singing. And in my video, you can see he's like, he's right here. And so my daughter, who's a nut job, got on her chair and reached up and was just like, you know, playing with him. And he grabbed her hand and kept holding her hand while he sang. And I got most of it on video, but it was a riot. My mom went out with him once. I've always teased and said it's my stepdad. We thought for sure we were gonna get backstage. My mom had pictures. We had contacted security guards. We were. They said to wait afterwards, we did. But I don't know if something happened because they said all of a sudden, he kind of just walked off stage and never came back. So I think he's 81, which he is, but I think it, he looked amazing. But I also think that, uh, I mean, he's 81, you guys. I mean, he was all over the place and he put on a fantastic show. So if you have a chance to see Paul Anka and you're, you know, 100 years old like we are, go see him. He put on a great show. So Kim Whitmore, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, you guys, let's get started. So today I've got this metal flower and what put me a little bit on the map at least on youtube good morning everybody i see you and um i'm gonna try and uh contact you know make sure i get as many kathy dean thank you so much brenda okay great so um big lots one of my new favorite places big lots and this is how it came it came in this big box and as you can see i've got my camera the right way today it was on sale for 16 dollars, so that's what it looked like in this big box. 
I just went online to see if I could find it online for you guys. I didn't see that one, but I saw a million of them and some even a lot better than this one. So um, just Google metal flower, metal flower. And if you can find one white, then that'll save you so much trouble up front to not have to base coat it. I'm not base coating this one, even though there is some black like distressing on it. I'm gonna leave it alone, there's no sense. And the only reason, hi Canada, uh, hi Deborah. The only reason you would ever base coat it white is because you're using decoupage paper, napkins, or tissue paper. And it's so fine and thin that if you don't have a white background, any background you have is gonna go through and it's never gonna give you a good color, like the, the color it should be. Hi, Francie, hi, Carol. So anyway, if it doesn't have a white background, you wanna give it a white background so that all of your colors come through uh, true. Okay, good, a ton of you posted, thank you so much. So it has a little hook on the back and okay, let's make sure we're right this way. Okay, it's got a little hook on the back and it's just got these four and then these push down. And we're gonna do something with this. But here's where we're gonna do something different today that I haven't seen a lot of people do yet. If you're not familiar, I posted a link. Zazzle, Z-A-Z-Z-L-E.com has spectacular decoupage paper, uh, uh, tissue paper, and the prices are very, very reasonable. So go to Zazzle.com and get your paper. Like I said, I posted a link above. I'm gonna show you some of the papers that you can get from them, and I want you to see the difference. So if you're on Zazzle, you would just Google um, floral decoupage paper, and you'll get everything that I got. But look at some of these papers. They are absolutely gorgeous. This would be so beautiful on a tray or on the side of a dresser, and you always get two pieces. So just a for instance, I got two pieces. These are, um, I forget what size these are. Let me just give you an idea, because you can buy them in all different sizes. So depending on what size you get determines how much it's gonna be. I believe these are 12 by 18s. Let me just double check for you. Okay, no, that's a 15 by, 15 by 20. You can get 20 by 30, you can get like, um, you can get them super big. So the um, 15 by 20, which is what I got, which honestly I use for everything. Tray, perfect for trays, but for the sides of, you know, dressers or little cabinets or little boxes, it's amazing. Uh, Shelly Stackland, yes, Zazzle is the place to go for these, I'm telling you. Well, there's a lot of places to go, but I like Zazzle because there are things nobody else is, you know, I don't see anybody else using them. So, you know, I do, I, I'm a rogue. I wanna go off, you know, off road on everything I do. Hi, Virginia. So that's one. Then, um, let's see, and like I said, you get two of every piece. So it's amazing, look at this one. And they're very similar, but just, it depends on the color florals that you love. So you get two pieces and um, like $7 for two pieces. So like three, $3.90 a piece or something, $3.50 a piece, okay? You get a bunch of different ones. I wanted to show you the difference between decoupage paper and tissue paper. People ask me all the time, well, what's the difference? Uh, Savita, they have napkins too. Yes, they do. They have everything, zazzle.com. Okay, so I want you to see and hear it. This is decoupage paper. It's thicker. Rice paper, you'll see, has like little fibers throughout the paper. It, it works exactly like decoupage paper, but it is just, it's got these little fibers in it that I don't know, maybe someone else knows better than I do. Maybe it grabs better than just a regular paper. I just made that up. I totally just made that up, but I'm thinking it might be. By the way, I'm supposed to say I do stars also. If anybody does stars, I, um, I accept them. I'm grateful. I appreciate it so much. So that's just another FYI. Okay, so I want you to hear decoupage paper. They also have on Zazzle.com. Wait till you see this one. You're going to love it. Hold on. Um, my gosh, my little fingernails are trying to get in there. There we go. Look at this. This is um, tissue paper. So here's the difference. 
decoupage paper, tissue paper, very fine. So you can buy both on Zazzle. It's a, just a matter of which design you want, but this one is so spectacular. I have been saving it for something really special. So look, I take care of it like it's a, like a little precious gem, but it's just a really pretty paper. So anyway, that's Zazzle.com, all kinds of different papers you can get. Today, I'm gonna to use the French typography um, paper, and I, that's what the link is. So in my description above, um, I, people always ask, where'd you get that? I always say, look in my description, and most crafters put their stuff in the description. Look up there first, and if you don't see what you need up there first, then ask, and we'll make sure we get you the information. But this is the one I'm using today. Isn't that so beautiful? And this one is even bigger. This one I believe is a 20 by 30. Let's just double check again so you know what size is. This is, oh, they're so weird. This is a 17 by, let's see. Okay, that's a very strange size. 17 by 23. So just, I, maybe they just offer them all different weirdo sizes. So. But what I wanna to do today, instead of, we're going to decoupage each of these leaves or petals separately, but here's a difference. I wanted to kind of create this seam. Do you know what I mean? So we're gonna try and lay this down and decoupage it on each of these. So it gives the illusion of us giving you this whole seam. We're gonna try. I've never done it before, and if you've never followed me before, I don't practice ahead of time. I love to just go for it so that you all know, as a regular crafter like me, um, if she can do it, she didn't practice, I could probably do it too. So that's why I do this. It drives some people crazy, but I think most people love it that I don't practice because, you know, I screw up a lot, you guys. I do, and <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so how we're gonna do this is very, very carefully, and I have two sheets of it. I have two sheets of this paper so that if it's not enough to go all the way across or I mess anything up, I've got two pieces that I can pull, you know, push together. So, okay, here we go. So I want this, now it's gonna be tricky, I'm telling you, I don't know why I do this to myself, but I do. So I'm gonna get this one as far over here as I can on this particular piece. And I'm going to press down to see if I can find myself at least some kind of a border. Let's try it. And I don't know, you guys, this might be a disaster, but it'll be fun to, to see anyway, either way. Okay. Ugh, this makes me nervous. Okay, I wanna get it all the way in there and I'm gonna use my fingers. Probably better off just to do the flowers, but you know, I need a challenge today, so let's just go for it. Okay, so as you can see, I've made myself kind of a pattern just by pushing my fingers down on it. And let's see, oh my gosh. And I wanna go bigger than my pattern, just so I have plenty of room. Like I said, I have two sheets, you guys, so don't panic. If I need to go uh, do half in one sheet and then the other half in another sheet, it's fine. I, that's what I'll do. Okay. All right, so we wanna get this right in here. And then so you can see, then this next sheet, now none of it is going to match. Oh my gosh, we just had a stars party and I made it? You guys are the best, best, thank you. Okay, so on this one, we're going to have to use the other sheet. So let's grab my other sheet, which is, uh, hold on. I just threw them all down here. Let's see, I've got this. Okay, so let's put this one down, and then I'm probably going to have to fudge to get this one to fit, because I cut up both of them. Um, I used the, the other thing for something else. So let's just see. We might end up just doing a lot of flowers here. 
and then we'll pull that together. I know I'm talking to myself right now. I'm so sorry. Okay, give me a second. To... Hi, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, let's hear your stars party song and dance. Um, these boots are made for checking, and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these boots are gonna check all over you. That's my new song, you guys. It's so stupid. But, you know, it's all I got. It's all I could come up with on the fly. Um, okay, let's do... All right, you guys. It's, this is, I'm making it harder than it has to be. So just trust me on this one. I'm making it harder than it needs to be. But I am really just trying to go from the bottom up. And then I'll work towards the top. All right, let's see. Let's cut this one off. I know you guys are right now thinking, uh, sh uh, she doesn't know what she's doing. All right, let's try this one. Let's get this one in here. All right, it's all right, it's coming. All right, can you already see? I think it's gonna be really pretty, you guys. It's going to just give the illusion of having this whole deal. All right, now I should be able to somehow get this one in here. Yes. I can. Let's just cut this part off. And then we're gonna have to cut and paste the top part, I can already tell. But I don't know how else I could have done this. And then we are going to use the burn technique today. So if you haven't seen that in a while either, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use that burn technique. All right, let me make this go around here. Are you with me? Uh, Nancy Sinatra, yes, that was Nancy Sinatra. Hi, Terry. Yes, the, the metal came from Big Lots, you guys. And um, let's see, let me go to here. The metal flowers from Big Lots. Get that in there. Let me cut this off, because that's not going anywhere. I know this is very strange for me to just like be sitting here not having anybody here. Good morning, everybody. I hate not being able to say hi, but you guys know sometimes it's just not feasible. Okay, so, so far we're doing okay. All right, we got that. Now we have to figure out the top part and I think we're going to have to, let's pull it up a little bit. Hopefully you can see. We're going to have to fudge a little bit but that's okay, because I ended up cutting ahead of time before I should, because I got, you know, I got excited and I thought I was going to get ahead of the game. Um, uh, let's see. I think what we'll do is use this, and then I might cut that in. Um, okay, so you guys know. This is what you guys do. It is an oldie, but a goodie. Oh, thank you. My hair does. I just kind of left it down today. Um... Can you see I'm a little bit struggling with this part right here. Uh, let me cut some of it off. Let's see if I could get that crown in there. Let's just try this instead. There we go. I needed a bigger piece. And then I'm gonna take some of the, um, there we go. I'm gonna take some of the, what are those, lilacs? From this other side and then put them on here. So I think, and then we'll just kind of blend it all together. And you know you never want straight edges when you're decoupaging. Never, never, never straight edges. So, okay. Are you totally confused or did you understand? I hope you understood what I was doing. I was just, like I said, I was just kind of laying it out to get an idea of where everything needed to be. Uh, Shane, cook it. Uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> hi, good morning. Okay, so I wanted to show you a new product. We're not using it today because this is something I've tried and I didn't like it. Has anybody tried this? This is the Spray-On Mod Podge. It's an, it says Mod Podge Ultra, Spray-On All-in-One Glue and Sealer Multi-Purpose Indoor-Outdoor. So that's the only reason I thought, oh, maybe we'll use it on this. So here's what I did. I sprayed it on some metal ahead of time just to see if it was gonna work and it didn't stick at all. So then I read the directions, cause you know, when all else fails, then read the directions. 
And it said that you should shake the bottle for 15 seconds and then unclog the, you know, do higgy deal and then spray like you would spray paint back and forth, back and forth. So I did it. Still didn't stick. So does anybody know anything about this stuff? Am I just a, I mean, and it says it's good for metal, glass, wood. So um, let me know. Thank you so, so very much for the stars, you guys. That's unbelievable. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, thank you, Debbie Knitson. Okay, well, anyway, I'm gonna use my old standby, which is what works every single time, which is just a regular, uh, just a regular good old Mod Podge. You tried it and you didn't like it. It's hard to get it to stick. So I thought we could try it over top, but honestly, I think this is gonna be really cute and I don't wanna mess it up. Uh, but I think it will be pretty. Thank you. Thank you. I think it will be too. All right. Well, let's just go for it. Let's just start decoupaging down. So I'm going to use, and it doesn't matter what sheen you use. I'm using a Mod Podge satin. You can get Mod Podge anywhere, including um, Walmart, you guys. So the key for me, I'm just going to set that aside so I didn't get anything on it. The key for me with Mod Podge is a nice, thick, but even coat. Like I make sure that I don't have any um, like buildup or wrinkles or any goobers. Cause like there's a little goober right there. You gotta get rid of all that stuff. I have been so lucky and I know a lot of you use the iron technique, which is fabulous. I don't because number one, I'm live and I don't really have the coordination to pull all that together with, you know, the outlet and everything I need. So I'm, but I know you guys do iron and iron technique would probably be fine on this. However, this is ridged. So um, it's not straight across. So I think you might have issues with that. Okay, so you can see, I've got just a nice clean coat on. Not too thick, not too thin, just a nice clean coat. And it will go this way, is that right? Make sure I'm doing it the right way. So all my flowers are going the right way. Yes, the ladybug is right way. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and get it in there. I want more of the pink flowers showing than the white. I like, really, really like the pink. So let's get more of those in there than the white. And I'm just gonna push it down with my hands. And now I'm going to get in the little ridges, if you can see that. Ah, all right, let me go a little bit over. There we go. What I love is, man, thank God I had a second to get that down. I had, uh, I am gonna burn it. I'm gonna do the burn technique today. We haven't done it in a while and everybody loves the burn technique. So I thought we would do that. And it is, I mean, you know, I'm really making sure I'm getting my, my edges and my corners because of the ridges. I don't really think I've got any good way except with maybe one of these that you can get at Dollar Tree. They're just, um, they're facial, um, what are they guys? Facial something. Facial, <laughs> facial something. And um, they work great for pushing Mod Podge down without ripping it. And you saw just there, if you've got a place that's pulling up, make sure you get that back down. Use a little bit more Mod Podge, make sure everything's down. So I'm gently pushing from like the center and I'm pushing back out to the edges so that all of that glue is gonna hit my edges, which is where I want it. Well, I want it everywhere, but I especially want it on the edges to keep everything down and nice. Okay, got that done. Now let's do one more coat and then we're gonna go ahead and burn it, which I'll tell you what, when I first did that burn technique, I first saw it on Rekindled Blessings, and if she's here, hi Beth, I feel like I miss Beth every single time she's on, but Rekindled Blessings, Beth Beck, you guys, if you're not following her, follow her, she is the sweetest lady ever. And um, I saw her do this, and I thought, oh, I don't know who that lady is, but boy, she sure is a genius for knowing how to do that. So then um, I, said, I'm, I'm gonna try this, and so I tried it on a live. Of course, I gave her all the credit because that's the only place I'd seen it. And the people who actually did like start this happened to be on my live that day. How, I don't know, but they were on my live that day and they were like, uh, we did it, we, we're the ones who did this. 
So I was like, okay, well, whoever did, you know, your geniuses. And then I sent everybody over to their page. And I don't think they've ever spoken to me since, which is so funny because I really did promote them. I said, anybody who knows how to do this is a genius. But anyway, um, that's where I learned it. And it was Country Outback Crafts. Country Outback Crafts is who I think started it. Um, by the way, I'm a safety girl and I do have a darling polka dot bowl of water right here. All right, here we go. Let's just try it. And I've never, I've only done burnt with napkins. I've never done it with decoupage paper. So let's pray it works. All right, and I'm just kind of gonna guide it. Now, do you see what's happening? And it's just going around. And it's just perfectly taking off the paper as it goes. This stuff's a mess though. If you're doing it, do it outside. Don't be crazy like this. But I don't have that opportunity. I've got a little bit too much paper. I'm gonna burn, I'm gonna blow that out and cut off some of that paper. I didn't realize there was so much paper down there. But you see, it just what it does, it takes it off perfectly. However, right now, around that edge, uh, let me get my sanding block. I am going to be honest with you. I think that it stinks like crazy. I think that the sanding block works better on decoupage paper, and I think the burn technique works better on napkins. So now what I have to do, I want you to see what the side looks like. I don't want to get these messed up. Okay, so as you can see, and now it creates a burn, but once I do this, it's gonna come off, look, and now it just flies right off. That, all that excess. Sorry, that's gotta be annoying. Just comes right off. And so now, look at that. Now I have a perfect, is that crazy? I have a perfect edge. So let's keep going. Is there anybody that hasn't seen that technique yet? Because it's crazy. But when I did it, the first time I did it with my friend, um, I think Lori, I can't remember if Lori was with me or not, but um, it went, that video went crazy. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so fun. It was the first time I'd ever had a video go, you know, go pretty big. Uh, hi everybody. Yes, tomorrow, okay, for the record, tomorrow, we are celebrating my mom's 83rd birthday. So as soon as I get off here today, I'm gonna go to my friend's house where we're having it and uh, get everything set up and ready to go. We've got, we, we had about 27 women a couple days ago coming and now we've got about 35 coming. Um, some of our followers, some of my mom's friends. So we're gonna have a great time and um, looking forward to, so looking forward to seeing everybody again. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, look, that sanding technique to me, where it works just as well. But some people, if you're, you know, if you wanna really impress your friends, do that burn technique in front of them and everybody is blown away. But like I said, the key is making sure that you're, you've got your paper down on every edge. And it goes pretty quick. And then it just pops right off. And what keeps it from burning, um, what keeps it from like burning onto the paper is the glue. The glue stops the burn, which is amazing to me. Uh, somebody did this. Okay, hold on. Carol, uh, you have to tell you that my... Your mother taught you the burn technique back in the 70s? Okay, we need to give all credit to your mom. That's awesome. And that's what I was thinking when they said that, when they, these ladies, which again, it was, they were so sweet about it. But also, I was like, did you really invent this? Like, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think you invented it. But um, apparently Carol's mother did though. So we're gonna give all of our credit to Carol's mom. Uh, that's awesome. Carol, what would she have done this on? Because that's fascinating to me. All right, the key is, you guys, let's do, is getting off all the extra. You just don't want too much paper. I had way too much paper on that. So here we go. 
Let's come up this way. Did that burn out? Isn't that insane? And it just keeps moving till it touches, and I have a lot of glue right there on that whole area. And look, it won't take it. Isn't that fascinating? I love that. So right there, because there's so much glue, it would not take it. And then what I'll do now is, oh, I hate that the little, um, you know, the what are they, the ashes, just get on everything. My desk will be a mess. But the reason I was okay doing this today is because I'm due to change out all the paper on my desk, so I didn't care. Okay. Look, this is going to be beautiful. You've got to stay with me because I think this is gonna be so pretty. And then in this very center, if it, if I think it's going to be, it is fascinating every time, Diane. Uh, there is nothing new under the sun. That is so true. My mom does say that all the time too. Um, so uh, let's do that and then we're gonna do the rest. And then if it needs it, it might be too elegant, but if it needs it, I'm gonna do a black and white check just in that little part right there. Hi, Brittany, new to watching. Well, welcome, my friend. I hope you enjoy it. Um, nobody here is perfect. We are all just, you know, people trying to get through a day and entertain each other. So that's what I always say is the premise of my whole page. I, um, I don't take myself or my craft too seriously. Isn't that paper beautiful? So let's get... Um, this down. Oh, he's like, what is that noise? It's trash day. Uh, you did this in the 70s too? Okay, isn't that funny that crafters are trying to, you know, not just those people, but anybody trying to claim that, that they invented it or that they did it. But they might have been the first ones on the internet to actually do it. Let's pull this up a little bit. But this couldn't be simpler, you guys. You could take, um, this would apply to anything. Originally, I was gonna take four different napkins that all like had similar designs and do each petal a little bit in a different napkin, which you could do easily. We do it all the time. But I thought this would be something different to try for everybody with number one, decoupage paper, and number two, trying to keep the whole design somewhat intact. Now it's impossible because of the way it's sitting, but we're gonna do our best to get, keep it somewhat intact. Okay, and now let's get this piece in here. And I'm just gonna get it down there as far as I can, as close as I can. And anything that's left over, there we go. Like this, uh, the lilac right here, I'm going to pull onto this next one. Uh, like I said, here's what's fun about this one. We'll all see if it works but it, it goes pretty quick. Key is to make sure you get that all down really well so that um, all of your decoupage sticks come around that corner, but not too much, because that's what's gonna stop the burn. So if I, if I go up too high onto my paper, then the, the, um, the flame won't go there. Uh, I think it'll look good too. It's gonna be stunning. Oh good, I'm glad you guys like it. Like I said, I just wanted something different. And um, you know, of course, we'll probably be adding diamond dust to it at the end because uh, who doesn't love a little diamond dust? Well, my best friend, Lori. She doesn't love diamond dust. Oh, what her problem is. Uh, but she's always like, no, don't put diamond dust on it. I think the diamond dust hides a multitude of sins and I just always think it looks pretty on everything. Um, missed what the base is. Uh, Joni, it is a, just a white metal flower I got on sale at Big Lots. You can Google, um, just Google metal flower. And if you get a white one, you won't have to do any base coating. Um, but there's hundreds of them. I literally, just before I came live, I looked and there was hundreds of these. So um, don't stress yourself out trying to find a particular link because you'll, you'll find a million of them. Amazon had a bunch. Some of them have multiple layers of petals also. So, uh, you know, just go for it. Just do something fun. 
but like I said, we've done a ton of these in the past where we did, um, uh, we use napkins. So, all right, let me cut some of the excess off so we don't get too much fire. It's critical to make sure it's all down. And if I've got too much decoupage on any certain area, hold on, I forgot to use my little tool. Um, where is it? Here it is. I, even though it's wet, it's, it's okay. I'm still gonna use my little tool to make sure everything is pushed down. Helps with the wrinkles. Just be gentle. Okay, and you guys know it'll all dry clear. You love it, you love it. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Let's try the burn again. That seems like a lot right there. It really, you really do, even though it's fun as heck, you, you really do need to get off as much excess paper as you can, especially if you're in your house like I am. All right, here we go. So if I've got too much paper on the, or too, see, if I've got too much glue on the edges, it, it won't even touch it. It is fascinating. I could watch this all day long. I think most people, it makes them a nervous wreck. But that's why it's so critical to make sure that you have plenty of uh, glue coming at your edges. Otherwise, what happens is your the flame goes onto your paper and starts burning your paper, and it looks terrible. So make sure you do that. I, I, I think we're all, you know, closet pyromaniacs because oh, there's something about it. And maybe it's because we've all spent so much time trying to uh, do everything perfectly. Yes, I'm a safety girl. I have a bowl of water right here. I do. Okay, then we're gonna just take our sanding block and basically all this is doing is sanding off all the ashes and any excess paper that didn't get off. And the other thing it will do is if you don't have enough glue, I'm so happy this just happened because I'm gonna show you what just, um, I'm just gonna pull off all the excess. Right here, I did not have enough glue on that edge. You can see that. So it did start to burn the paper. No big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more glue down. Push it all down. And then I will fill in if I have to with a little bit more paper or even a little bit of paint right there. Nobody will ever know the difference. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how pretty already. I think it's I think it's just so different. I hope you're loving it. Um, oh, I'm a safety girl. Yeah, that is pretty woman. I you guys, I used to watch so many movies. I know a lot of movie lines. All right, let's do this side and then I'll do the top last cuz that's going to be the trickiest. And you want to keep making sure where your, you know, where your top is where your hanger thing is, because I'm famous for messing that up too. Okay, so this, is this the right one? Uh, I don't think so, let's see. I'm gonna have to add to this one I can see. But be careful with your little metal deals, and almost all the flowers have those things on them. Just be super careful, because they'll break. So you don't want to be too rough on those. Uh, let's see, there's that and that, there it is. Okay, I've got that. I mean, what's crazy is you could just do anything you want. That's on the other side. I'm just making sure I have everything. There we go. All right, sorry. I started throwing stuff around and then got myself messed up. So just get it on there, push it on. We're going to add a little bit right there. I'm going to lose that butterfly. 
Do you hear me? I, th I, do you guys do this? Please tell me you do this. You just talk to yourself because you have to. Uh, Victoria, thank you so much. You guys, I'm so sorry. I know it drives people crazy when I don't say hi to everybody, but uh, I can't always do that. So you love it so far, Clara? Okay, good. So I, you can see I've got a little bit, I don't know if you can see right here, that didn't make it, but that's okay. I want, I'll, I'll fill it in. I really want to get that butterfly on there. So I'm going to stop here. And then I'm gonna fill in, and that way you'll see how stinking easy it is to fill in also. So I'm making sure that I'm going all the way around the edge of this with my glue. And I don't have, okay, good, you talk to yourself. I don't have too much glue on my brush, but I have enough. and then press it down right away, all the way around. Uh, you do give yourself expert advice, yeah. Um, get crafty, you do too, I know. Isn't it funny? Even if nobody's here, I'm talking to myself, or if I'm here and I'm working uh, like this, I'll be talking to myself and my friend will come out and he'll go, what, what, what'd you say? Nothing, I, nothing, I'm just talking to myself again like a crazy person. Get back in the kitchen. Okay, let's see. But relatively easy. We've been on for 40 minutes and we've already gotten three of our petals done. So I would say this isn't, it shouldn't be more than for you about an hour project because you wouldn't be stopping and saying hello to everybody. And I, I, maybe you do, I don't know. I don't know what you do in your private time. But uh, anyway, let me get all this in here. So yeah, tomorrow, so then as soon, like the second I'm done today, I am all about getting ready for my mom's birthday party. So she's had quite the week. I mean, I flew her to California, my daughter and I, we showed her a great time, saw Paul Anka, and if you missed it, my mom had gone out with Paul Anka before and went to dinner one night with Paul Anka and the Everly Brothers. And so we've always joked that Paul Anka is my stepdad but uh, it just makes a better story than, well, my mom went out with him one time, but she really did have dinner with him and the Everly Brothers. Back in the day, 1959, I think she said. Uh, thank you so much, you guys. Uh, let's see. Yes, I'm using decoupage paper from uh, Zazzle.com. I'm telling you guys, it's got, I don't know if it's the best paper, but so far for me, by far, it has been the best uh, selection of papers, if that's probably a better term. I've had, uh, I can get anything I want on there. Do you know that you can also, with Zazzle, you can send them a picture, like if you wanted to decoupage a family, not that I would, but you know what I mean. If you have a photo, they, they will also make it into something. Uh, yeah, it, it was fun. Uh, you love it? Okay, good. All right, let's cut some off and then we'll do the burn. And if you've never done this before, you will get faster as you go. Where's the edge? Okay, there we go. Because you can see even I'm getting a little faster per petal. Okay. Oh, I really love it so far. I hope you do too. All right. Here we go. Let's pull this one back a little bit so it'll be easier for you to see. Okay. Fascinating. <laughs> it just is. It just is. Now see, I've got a lot of glue right there and so it's, it's struggling to get around that corner, but it's doing it, but it's struggling. That just is amazing to me that it's the glue. And see, I've got a lot of glue right there, so it's just stopping all together. See if I can get some of it off. See, we're all nuts. We are all nuts. What'd you do today, honey? I don't know, I sat and watched a girl burn paper. What do you mean? Yeah, I did. I just sat and watched a girl burn paper. That's what I did today. Okay, all right, hope you had a good day. All right, and then it's this. Use the purple glue stick. Oh, I do love, and that's how I did it before. 
I had such better luck. I totally forgot about that. I had such better luck. You know what? On the next one, we're gonna do the purple uh, glue stick because I had a lot better luck with that always than I did with the decoupage. Uh, that was a lot of that was a lot of fire. That made me a little nervous. So I've got this one still coming around. It's just a matter of just, you just gotta keep your eye on it the whole time just to make sure. Okay, so I'm gonna sand the rest of it off since I'm down underneath. Um, and then it's just so easy just to pull right off. The key to the sanding part, you guys, I'm sure you all know this, but I'm just gonna say it anyway because I feel responsible for all of you now. The key to the sanding is sanding away from you and you don't sand side by side because it'll pull the paper. You just sand away from you and down. And that's what will keep it from getting funky. And any place that I've got, um, you know, where it pulled up a little bit, here's the thing, almost all of it is underneath another flower. So I'm not gonna worry about it because I don't think once we get the all the flowers put down, you're gonna see any of it. Um, did somebody say are the edges black? Were the edges black? If that was the question, yes, the edges were already black. Um, you mask, you also like to make the tin flower. Carol, why don't you why don't you show us how to make those? You can come on my you can come on my page and do that. Uh, okay, let me get a little bit of glue right there where it's coming up. And that's all it takes. Okay, so we've gotten this far and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. If you have a, I can see this in a, in a beautiful little bathroom or out on your front porch. Okay, this is gonna be the tricky part and I'm gonna have to do it, well, you'll be thrilled because I'm gonna do it towards you. All right, so I want to get in with some of the lettering. And let's see on this side if I can match up the lettering. Uh, let's see. This is the thing, you gotta keep you've got to keep everything. Uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I don't know where that lettering is. So let's see about. Uh, what do I have? We might have to just kind of fill in with something. I think what I want to do is add... I think we could just pretend. Nobody would ever know the difference if we just kind of pretend and fill in. What are you guys saying? Everybody, <laughs> you know I'm just in my own world over here crafting and you guys are just watching, you're so sweet. Cause I'm just like, you know, all over here, all my own business. Um, surely there's something over here we can use. I kinda like this, let's see. I'm loving the butterfly. Um, I don't know, okay, hold on, let me think. Is this it? Here it is. Oh, for crying out loud. Here it is, right here, you guys. There it is, right there. Okay, perfect. Yay, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna match it all up. This is a part, uh, lilacs there. I did, but I couldn't find them, so I was pretending like um, it was fine and I would just do something else. But as you can see, that's what I was missing is that piece of paper right there. And then I'm just gonna throw some lilacs in and around. Yay, okay. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me get this over as far as I can so we get as much of the design as possible. And I love that we have this little crown here. I'm almost wondering if we just take part of that crown too. I think we do. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Gloria, you're late, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna put that right there and we're gonna fill in and I wanna show you how you can fill in and not have an issue. So that's what we're gonna do. And again, this is just our first attempt, so who cares? 
but I think so far I'm thrilled with it. And if you're getting wrinkles when you do it, then um, just know that you're probably putting on your decoupage too thick. Whoops. Oh, that just got all over me. Hold on. Let me just wipe that off. Luckily, it's just the glue. No big deal. Okay. Um, and people say, why do you wear those clothes? Uh, hi, Bonnie, who's just joining us. Uh, you know why? Because a lot of times I, I don't care and I don't spend a lot of money on my clothes. And so if I buy them at a consignment store or something, I, I just don't, it doesn't bother me. I, I won't wear them out, but um, you know, like I said, I don't spend a ton of money on my clothes. So I always feel like if it makes me feel better to, to wear decent clothes, what do you guys care? <laughs> What, is, what does it matter? I don't think it does, So, but it is funny to me. And I know most people say stuff just because they're concerned and worried about me, but um, okay, here we go. Let's get this down. And like I said, I do want, what does your shirt say? Oh, it says the best is yet to be. The best is yet to be. Um, I don't know if it is. I'm praying it is, because right now, I don't think our country could get any more, I mean, everything could get any worse, but um, the world right now, praying that something gets better soon. Okay, uh, you just got that paper from Zazzle. Oh yes, they do have a ton. Yes, you do you. Thank you, you guys. I didn't, I just, um, this morning, I didn't, you know, curl my hair, do anything else different. Today, I only, only thing I did was just blow dry it. And uh, only because I wasn't going anywhere today, and so I didn't really care what it was, what it was doing today. Okay, now let's start getting some of our other stuff down. All right, this is what I want next, is we wanna fill in uh, the rest of this. Here it is. You've got to really keep track of all your papers. Uh, I know, why do you care? <laughs> I love seeing people dress up. I know, it's just my thing, it's just what I do. I'm not, um, I, I like to, I just like to dress nice, nicer, anyway. Um, okay, let's see where this is gonna end up. And again, this is just going to be uh, it's just going to give the illusion that it's on there. Look at that. Cut that down. Okay, let's cut that off. I need a little piece here. I want some, I think I just want, yes, right here. And you know, you always rip, you never cut when you're decoupaging. Always rip, never cut. You do not want any straight edges. It's the straight edges that show. So be very careful about that. Watch your, watch your edges. And then just rip what you don't want. And again, that is just gonna be cool. Nobody's gonna notice it because it's all part of our little design. So I'm just adding a few things here and there. So it makes sense. Uh, this is the only thing I don't like right here, a little bit much. Okay, so let's get some decoupage down on that so it doesn't move. But watch, now you guys know it's there, I know it's there, but nobody else is gonna know it's there because we're going to try to make it all disappear. And especially once we put the, um, once we get the diamond dust on it, it's gonna hide literally everything. Um, where are we at? We're almost in an hour and we're almost done. So it is a good little project, you guys. Um, if you're a crafter and you have to, um, you know, do an event or something, to know that you can do this in about an hour, as long as you only have the four petals. If you have a bunch of petals, you're screwed. But, um, okay. Get that all down. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. 
And then look right here, I don't know if you could see, but there's just a teeny, like a sliver of a piece that doesn't have anything. Well, that's gonna show up. Always dress like you're going someplace better. Yeah, better later like I have a life. Um, and what is it they said when you do a job interview, you should always dress one step up um, from what you're thinking. If you're think, well, unless you're thinking, you know, rhinestones and hoochie, you know, uh, shoes, then I'm gonna say no. But uh, dress one step up and that you should never dress way above or way below where the company that you're being interviewed. You know, you should just be really right on, right on it. All right, let's see if I can get, I really want more of the lilacs. Don't have a bunch, but I think we could get some. And now I'm just gonna kind of fussy rip around those so that I don't have any of the lines. And it'll just, now do you see what I did? If I blend it in rather than a straight line, I blend it in a little bit at a time, then it's going to make much more sense. Especially when you're using a napkin, make sure you're fussy cutting everything. Or fussy ripping is what I call it, fussy ripping. Which means just kind of crop it all out. I want this just to sit in here a little bit, which is gonna help make that other side make sense. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to see this done. I'm already loving it. Um, are you hanging in with me? I know, it's a lot. Uh, where did I find the paper you're using, Jackie? I got it at um, Zazzle, zazzle.com, and this exact paper is in a link up above on my description of the video. So you can find everything you need right there, and uh, the link is there so you could just order it. I am not a representative for Zazzle, just so you know, I don't make any money. I provide a link to Zazzle as a um, courtesy, to you all, so I don't want you to feel like, oh yeah, she's probably making money on that stuff too. I'm not, I don't. And trust me, we don't make a lot of money on any of this stuff, but um, it's it's just something we love, we do love to offer to all of you so that you, you know, don't have to travel all over the internet like we do. Okay, last piece, and then we're going to burn it and see what we want to do in the middle, and um, then we'll be done. Easy. And I really don't have to do under here. I know you're having a hard time probably seeing it. I don't have to do anything under there because it's gonna be hidden by the other petal. But um, I'm a big fan on if you're going to sell your work or give it away as a gift, you need to have it look professional. You need to have every side of it. Any way a client will look at it, it needs to look finished. Okay, and I love the sheen. This is a satin, but it's giving it a nice sheen. I'm going to do a gloss sheen over top of the whole thing because I, um, I want it to be a little bit shinier and I wanna do the diamond dust on it. So that's why I'm going to do one more coat over top. Okay, and I need a little tiny piece and I'm gonna try uh, to see if I can get, yes, perfect. Do you see that? Um, I'm so sorry, I feel like this thing is so awkward to show, but there's a tiny white piece right there that just needs something, and a little bit of the lilac will help pull that whole area together. There, okay. Oh my gosh, I am so thrilled with this, you guys. I really am. All right, here we go. Let's see how much of this we can get off this time. Do you hear it? That's the that's that glue burning. Let's go a little bit more. We'll get a couple sides done this time. Yeah, there's a lot of glue. A lot, a lot, a lot of glue on those edges in it. All that glue is doing on the edges is just bubbling up. So we'll come back up here, get this stuff done. And then I will just use my sanding block to get rid of that other stuff. 
just keep your eye on it. Like I said, keep water, keep everything, just that you're watching everything constantly. Um, I saw one lady do like, uh, she waited till the end and then did all of her burn at once and had like five different burn areas going. I do not recommend that because look, there's one still burning under there and my hand was right there. So just keep in mind where you're at. Thank God. I don't know what made me look under there all of a sudden. I was like, uh, something, something feels warm right there. And you can do this on wood also. Um, here's the only thing I've noticed on wood. It really does burn the wood, you guys. I mean, there's no way around it. At least with the metal, it, it really doesn't. And then just pop all the rest of this stuff off. Yeah, I'm telling you, we've got like perfect edges. And we've got something totally different oops, than what we've done in the past, which is uh, for this, I'm gonna grab a, um, I'm gonna grab an emery board because I've got this tiny little area to get into and my sanding block is gonna end up ruining the paper next to me. So, I always prefer an emery board anyway. I just thought because this was a bigger project that we would use um, the sanding block, but we definitely didn't need to. Just a little emery board is all you need. And you know, you can use just regular glue uh, watered down too, doesn't matter. Okay, so now look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So here's our next question. Let's push everything down. And we've got it straight up. Like I said, the key for me was making sure, thank you for the hearts, I love it. I think it's really cool. Yes, this came from Big Lots, but um, uh, it did come from Big Lots, but honestly, there's fabulous ones everywhere. I am so impressed with myself right now because like I said, I didn't do this ahead of time, and even though you can see it's not the perfect design, but it looks like one whole piece of paper, I think. Um, oh, I'm so glad you guys like it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is, um, let's do uh, a sealer. I wanna do a gloss sealer on this. So I'm gonna use my mixture that I use, which is three parts triple thick gloss sealer to one part DuraClear sealer. And if you go to my resources uh, page, which I put in the link above, so you guys, I'm trying to get you guys used to using my links. Um, in the link above is my uh, favorite resources page, and you'll wanna go to that, and you'll, uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, we still have a little bit of paper right there. Let's see if we can get that off. Oh, how funny. I didn't even see that. Remember, always pushing down and away from you. There we go. Uh, and then the key to sealing is always, uh, where did I get the paper? It's zazzle.com and the link is up above. Um, so this is uh, gonna be super shiny, which I love. And we're gonna do one petal at a time with the diamond dust. Because otherwise that sealer will dry too fast. And if you're not familiar with diamond dust, you can get it at a lot of craft stores and Amazon. And it is basically crushed glass. So you have to be careful with it. Um, you know, you don't wanna rub your hand over it. But this is a perfect, project for diamond dust because this is just going to be like sitting on a wall or sitting outside or something. And then I dump it, there was so little, but I want you to see now, hopefully you can see, uh, look at that sheen now and look at how the diamond dust just, and I'm just using a little bit, it just grabs the light perfectly every time. 
Let's do a little bit more. And while I'm doing this, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that we should do a little black and white check, right, like a tiny black and white check right in the center on that uh, ball? Do you think it needs it? Do you think it would enhance it? Do you think that it would make it look worse? I, I would really uh, honor your opinions at this point because I can go either way on it. I think the black and white check, honestly, would be adorable on it, but it's going to take it to a different, I think it's gonna take it to a different look, but it could also take it to a different level. So with the diamond dust, you gotta be pretty quick. Get it on there pretty quick. Uh, yes, on the center. Okay, Diane, Diane Guy says yes. Check, check the ball, Monique. Okay, yeah. I mean, it was my first thought. It was my gut to do it, and I should always follow my gut, shouldn't I? Um, okay, again. Oh my gosh, that, I'm hoping you can see. Look at what that does. It's just so pretty. And like I said, it's also the sheen. So look at the difference on the top two. Let's see, the top two versus the bottom two that haven't been done yet. It's just, I don't know you guys, it's just worth it. One more level of protection. And um, <clears throat> the last thing I would do is if this is going to be outside, then um, before I put the diamond dust on, I would have done this. I probably would have used this as my adhesive to put the diamond dust on instead of what I'm doing instead of the triple thick, because this is a high gloss also. Um, oh, I've got to get a little piece of paper right there. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, hold on. Let me find something that will work. Let's use some more. Which, this is what I love about this. If you get a place and you go, oh, I missed a spot, no problem. Just get in there and put some more paper in there. Anything will seal it. I'm just using the sealer right now. And now I've got that down. So I would have used this prior to the diamond dust, and it, this will be a shock for those of you to, that don't follow me. It's called Engine Enamel. Okay, Engine Enamel is can be purchased at AutoZone, Amazon, um, Walmart, a lot of places. And it is literally what they use to um, seal car engines. It, it works for up to 400 or 500 degrees, uh, 550 degrees, two, 288 Celsius, 500 uh, Fahrenheit, and you can leave it outside and it protects from the, the elements. So it's the only product we found so far that works for outdoor uh, exterior applications. And um, it's a gloss, it comes in a clear gloss. So it's super glossy and it works. But I would not keep anything that's made of like this paper in direct, you know, snow and rain and that kind of stuff. So I would say that's just a kind of a common sense thing that I would, you know, you're not going to want to do it with that. But um, isn't that great to know? So you can find that. I believe that is also on my resources page on my website, www.studiomdaz.com. And you can find information on that. Uh, if you're new, we also have other pages. I have Check Savvy Sisters, which we would love to have you join. It's our free, uh, it's a free page. And that page is for you all to share your favorite, you know, whatever you're doing and um, your projects. And our ladies are so sweet and encouraging and loving. And um, we love to see what you're doing. And then they love to you know, tell each other and share ideas. And so that's a great place to be. And then I also have a membership group and that is where we do all of our really like big, kind of really cool projects. And I do a class once a month in there and um, you get plus a huge community of women that will love you, pray for you and support you and encourage and inspire. And we do that, um, I'm in there, like we do lives all the time, we're doing lots of tutorials, and it comes with about 150 tutorials that are already in there on everything you can imagine. And um, that's just $25 a month, and it's totally worth it because you get your classes for free, otherwise our classes are $39.
So, all right, there's all my advertising. I had to get it out of the way, but oh my gosh, you guys, look at how gorgeous that is. And what do we think? Are we going to, um, thank you for, thank you so much. You love this piece. I'm so glad. You guys, look how simple. So $16 for the metal. And then um, I paid $7.70 for, uh, good Lord, I love that, I love that. Um, uh, $7.70 for the two pieces of paper. And look it, I still got all of this left that will go on another project. I don't throw anything away. So, um, I, I mean, it, you, you really, look, I've still got all this left. Yes, check the center. Okay, I saw more check than not check, so let's go for it. I'm just using a regular white acrylic paint, no big deal. It's just what I had sitting here. It's the only reason I'm using it. Um, I think this is gonna take it up that one last notch that we need. So let me just get in here and get this white. I'm not gonna do the little dingle balls. I'm only gonna do the center, because I think if I do all the balls, it will, um, I think then it will trash it a little bit. Oh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, the diamond dust. When is there ever a time you don't wanna use diamond dust? I would say only if you're making toys for a baby because um, you know you don't want anybody touching it. But in the beginning, when I first saw it, people were like, don't touch it, don't get near it. And I was like, wow, okay, that must be major weirdo stuff. Um, it's not, just be careful. It's, you know, it's, it's not that big a deal, but you do need to be careful. All right, let me get in here. Look at my blooper. Paint dropped. Where? Uh-oh. Why don't I see it? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Thank you so much. Okay, no worries. Thank you. This is why, you, I'm telling you, this is why you guys have to be watching me all the time. All right, so I'm using a baby wipe. I love it when this stuff happens because it shows all of us. Okay, look how simple that was to fix as long as we got, a, as long as we got it right away. All right, and now I'm just gonna put some extra diamond dust right there to cover up anything anybody might see. But thank you, for those of you that saw that, thank you so much because I would have been so sad if I hadn't seen that and then saw that later. Okay, all's well, all's well. Crisis averted. Let's get back in here and finish this and I'll be more careful this time, that's for sure. Boy, good eyeballs, you guys. Really good eyeballs. Although I bet it was, it was on a hidden corner for me, I couldn't see it. But this will be interesting so you guys can see how to do something like that. You know, how to check a, a weird round thing like this. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna use spit, why wouldn't I? I? I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Get off my back. Okay, did I get it? I think so. Oh my gosh. Every day, every day it's something, you guys, every day. <sighs> a little bit more and then we'll move on. Let me just get this, here we go. Good thing I looked up when I did because that would have dried a little bit. If I had dried any more, it would have been sad. Um, is there still some on there, you guys? Oh, I see it, okay. I couldn't see that before. There we go, I got it. All's well that ends well. And by the way, the bottom of this is very, very hot from my, from this. Now, I don't know if I wanna do a drag on this. Now you guys know if you're familiar with McKinsey Childs, we always do a drag. But I think on this one, I don't wanna drag. I wanna keep this as clean as possible. So let me get a pencil. And there's a couple ways you could do this. So you could start right in the dead center of this ball and you could make a, an X, okay? Uh, and then you cut it in half, cut it in half like a pizza. 
So does this make sense? You make a star and then you're just gonna pull all your lines down. You could do that or, let me erase that if I can. You could just start, let's see, where are we going? This is my top line. You could just do it like this and just freehand it. Just a couple lines. If you prefer it more like a straight up and down check, as opposed to um, uh, looking more like a soccer ball. Does that make sense? So it, it would have been more like, you know, a pieces of black as opposed to checks. And I really want small, pretty little checks on this. So uh, I'm just literally freehanding the size of checks I think will be good for this. So this is all I've done. I'm hoping you can see that. Super simple. And I'm gonna use the Deco Art Americana Lamp Black. We are ambassadors for Deco Art. We don't get any money, but we do get product from them and we love their product. And now I'm going to take a, let's see, I need a number four. I'm gonna take a Zen Level Two, number four paintbrush. These you can find on my resources page. Most of them are at michaels.com, Michaels Online. Um, sometimes you can find them in the store, sometimes you can find them at Hobby Lobby, but it's very rare. So if you can find them, get them. Or any brush that is short, fat, flat, and firm bristles. That's what you need, short, fat, flat, and firm, okay? And you'll have a, a good brush. I'm trying to find us other brushes because um, we're having a hard time keeping these in stock. I wish that Zen would have let me have them in the beginning so I could have sold them to everybody and then we'd always have them. Okay, I'm gonna make a mark in every other check just so I don't screw up Okay, let's see, there, there, there. Do you see why? Because it's so easy to just get distracted for a second and then paint two side by side and you'll be so sad. So I'm gonna dip into the black paint, wipe it off on my plate. I'm gonna go to any check now because I have a mark so it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna offload in the center. Get rid of some of that excess paint. If you went right to your line, you're going to get it all over the place. So get right in that corner, and of course you want your center check. Your center should, have, should always be black. So um, when you're figuring out you're putting a mark in each box, make sure you put a mark in that center box first and then work out from there. Oh yeah, this is cute. I think it needed it, wait till you see it. You guys are gonna be so happy. And if you're not, don't hurt my feelings. Make sure you get those little spots too. Uh, let's see, then here. And if I didn't have these marks in those boxes, you guys, it was really hard to see where you're going. Oh my gosh. Mm. Not only did it not, you know, mess it up, it really did add a little bit of, not only our touch, but a little bit of extra pizzazz that I love. And then we will um, put a high gloss sealer on this also, the same sealer I used for the rest. And um, what you could do after all of that is then spray it with the engine enamel if you want, and it will be good for outdoor use. So it's something you could do if you wanted to. And I hope you guys will make one of these and then show me because um, you guys, this was an easy little project. It, it took a hot minute, but it was easy. I'm just finishing up the sides. And there you go. Okay, let's turn it all the way around. We still have to do our drag on it and everything, but look at what a perfect touch that was just enough to make all the difference, uh, but I would not touch these. I, I would not do anything to those. Say the brush number, absolutely. It's a Zen Level Two, number four. These are 
Gold dots on the corners? Yes, I will. That's a cute idea. That's a cute idea. Uh, this is a blender flat court. Uh, yes, I do like the gold dots. We don't normally do it, but because this is something totally different, let's do it. I love that idea. Uh, let's see, which one? I spilled, I spilled a whole bottle. Uh, I spilled a whole bottle of this gold the other day and I almost, uh, I was just sick to my stomach. So, all right, so you know the key to great polka dots. I'm just gonna pour a teeny bit in that cap. I'm gonna put the bottle way away from me so I don't hit it. And then the key is to always dip in, I always use the end of my paintbrush, dip in once, and then tap it on something. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my brush, I'm gonna put everything here. I'm gonna tap into that uh, lid, and I'm gonna tap it one time on my plate. That will keep it from running. So you really need to do that. It will keep it from running, especially on this round space. And look, it gives you the perfect size, perfect little polka dots every time. But the key is you've got, got, got to, to tap it on your plate one time to get rid of any extra run. So, uh, all right, we're almost done, you guys. Just hang with me. You've hung in this long. Hang in till the end, and then I'll hold the whole thing up. Don't forget to tap. Yeah, the little dots was a cute idea on this because it makes it a little bit more elegant, if that's possible. But it, it does. It makes it a little bit more elegant on this. Um, so sad. I hate it when I'm here alone, you guys, and I don't have anybody to help me with comments because I feel like I miss everything that I love about being an online crafter, which is the interaction with you all. So please forgive me and just know that um, I usually have my mom or somebody here whenever I can. Did I get them all? Yeah, okay, here we go. And here is, let me get rid of that. Here's our final product. Oh, I love it. Let's see, here's it straight up and down. And you can see we've kept our paper somewhat intact. At least it still is a design and I love it. And this could be hung anywhere. Just something different, you guys. I hope you loved it too. I'll seal that center. Um, I'll seal that once all that gold is dry. And you can seal, when you're just putting on tiny polka dots, you can definitely seal. Thank you for the stars. Okay, this is the outside uh, spray. It's called Engine Enamel. Literally, it's Engine Enamel. It, it um, is for once somebody paints an engine and then it's the clear coat over top and use Gloss Clear. Gloss Clear Engine Enamel, I believe it's on my resources page. The link is above and you can also get it on Amazon. Just make sure you're getting clear gloss. Uh, the first one I showed everybody was a black and we didn't even know it, so clear gloss. Thank you for the hearts, thank you for the stars. I'm so glad, thank you Susan, I'm so glad you guys love it. I do too, but I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous to do it today because I said I've never done it before and I really didn't know how it was gonna turn out but it turned out way better than I expected, which is, oh, what a joy is that. So you are so welcome, Marcella. Thank you for being here, all of you. And um, I will go live at some point tomorrow at my mom's birthday party, but that will be in our membership group. Uh, that's where we'll be. Hi, Maggie. So um, anyway, look for me. If you're in my membership group, look for me tomorrow sometime after 11.30 a.m. my time. Uh, sometime probably in mid-afternoon or early afternoon. So thanks again for being here. I love you all and I hope you enjoyed it and please forgive me for not getting all your questions. Can you put engine enamel over diamond dust? You can. It's not going to be as, it's, it's gonna take a little bit of the sparkle out of the diamond dust, but not enough to worry about. And if you spray way up here, you'll be fine. Now you spray the engine enamel outside because it stinks and of course it's spray. Sharon, you love uh, anything flowers. Oh good, so you love this. Uh, Gloria, you love it. Carol loves it. Oh, I'm so glad, you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Cena. 
Honestly, like I said, I wasn't sure, but this is one where you go, you get done and you're like, okay, that worked. Thank God that worked. And it did. I hope you guys try it. Go to Zazzle.com or if you have any kind of paper, uh, you should give it to mom for her birthday to go with her. Yeah. Well, she she gets pretty much anything she wants. Uh, yes, I think we're, we're going to have a great time. She turns 83 tomorrow. And thank you, Diane. Thank you, Crystal. Okay, guys, everybody have a great rest of your Friday. I hope you have a great weekend. And um, thanks for being so wonderful and attentive today. And I will see you soon. I hope you get a snapshot of this. I'll post pictures too, but if you want to snapshot, this would be a great time. Just keep my face out of it if you want. Anyway, all right, have a great day. I love you all. Bye.